Hi everybody. Um, so I really felt led to like make this video right now. I know I haven't really done um, a lot of videos compared to like maybe other people and stuff, but I really don't try to want to compare myself to anybody else. I could just be me. Um, I, but I've been feeling led to like kind of share some of the stuff that the Lord's been showing me um, and read some of the stuff that he's had me write and um, talk about you know, a couple of my dreams and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are talking about dreams and rapture dreams. Um, I didn't, I don't think I've ever had like a rapture dream. Um, my husband has, but, um, yeah, it, um, and his was like pretty like, you know, quick, but, um, yeah, I've had other, a lot of other dreams and the Lord for a long time has told me to write them down and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. And then it's like, supposed to do that if he tells you so that you remember and and that you can look back and be like confirmation for things you know so um but I just want to pray before I start and do anything because um I told the Lord like this is not my video God you have to help me and just help me share what I'm supposed to because I felt you know if this even like is for one person I have a responsibility when he tells me like to do it because I don't know what that's going to do you know like none of us do so um Lord I just pray right now Father that you just guide my the words that come out of my mouth Lord let them only bring glory to you and not to myself at all and um I just I'm doing this Lord because I know that you want to show people that you are listening and that you see what's going on and you're not deaf to all their cries and their pain and everything Lord and I know that's a thing of why things happen and why not well Lord all we can do is just pray through things and and ask for your mercy and your grace to be on us to be able to fight through this Lord with with the only gifts that we can fight with which is um, the gifts of the spirit and with our armor Lord their spiritual armor God and I just thank you, Lord, for even having the ability to do this and to even share stuff you've showed me. Like, what an honor, Lord. And, you know, I don't take that lightly. So I just pray for all the people out there, Lord, all the people that are on YouTube that are searching for peace, Lord, that are trying to find a connection with themselves and other people where they want to fit in. God, they want to be a part of this. And But God, as the whole ship is going down, Lord, if they want to be a part of a ship that's going down under the water, Lord, they're going to drown, you know, as much as they would like to fit in, Lord. Um, I would rather be a safety boat bringing other people, Lord. And, and I just pray that your people really walk how we're supposed to, Lord. And um, that if all of our deeds were done, like on camera, God, that that what would you say and, and what would other people think? And, and Lord, I just pray for, um, as you, I'm going to share, Lord, um, all the other ministers and everything that's going on with the church and with leaders, Lord, I, I feel that you are going to expose more people or that more is going to come out, Lord, that you've showed me specific people that are going to, that is going to come out about them, that it's not going to be what people want to hear, Lord. And especially like more religious, like even normal Christians that just love you, God, but that we think a certain way and that when things don't go the way we think, Lord, that it's like, oh, you know, a lot of times we blame you or get mad because you're not doing things the way we want. That's hilarious, Lord. And I've been there too, so I understand. God, looking back, Lord, I know there's so many times, Father, that you did things that I can only see when I look back, God. Um, as I obey you, God, and see the, the blessings of obedience to you, God, that that's why it says obedience is better than sacrifice, Lord. It's not what we think we're making a sacrifice about, Lord. It's what you already did for us and that the battle's done already, but we just have to live in that love, God, and, and the righteousness and holiness that you provide for us, God, that we can only do through your Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I know like I, I pray like long, you know, prayers sometimes, but so the first thing is, um, I've been feeling like, and I wrote it like, and I finally ran out of my notebook, like on six, four, um, the year of the dragon. And, you know, it's like interesting because the Lord started speaking to me about stuff and I started looking up dragons and I started looking up like the history of dragons and all the stuff. Right. So it's very interesting that they're involved in like so many cultures, but I just see like this, you know, thing. And, and I believe that when those things, types of things happen, it's like the Lord, you know, is 
can be sending us like you know um, ideas and inventions and all this stuff you know but we have to actually do it you know because he's told me to do things that he's like here i'm giving this to you and you know through whatever means and you know it's like i have to actually like follow through and like you know use it and you know you can get a tool what doesn't mean you're gonna use it you gotta actually like stand up and do the work um so anyway that's just one thing that that like the year of the dragon i felt and um I found all, all this other stuff, but, um, I definitely think like personally what I've been feeling, um, I don't know if it's from the Lord or not, but, um, that something with, with King, with the King of England, King, um, King Charles and, um, that whole thing, like whatever's going to come out about that, um, or him or, you know, whatever. Um, I believe that, that there's going to be a lot of exposure with like high up people that, think that they are never going to be touched no matter what and like they can do whatever they want because they have this or they're one of the 13 families or like you know really running things you know it's but that's why only god is gonna get in there and expose these people and like look what just happened with the the you know and for november and you know stuff like that it's like i know that stuff's going on but i feel more like now that there was one thing to keep us distracted. Now it's, oh, he was being, you know, stuff about what just happened to, um, you know, uh, Trump. So I know there's a lot of things, but I believe like, okay, fine. You know, that happened. Um, you know, I know people were praying for him and been praying for him and all this stuff. So, and uh, God spared his life, you know, but, um, okay, great. Now, that's not going to change your life at all. Like we got to move on and just get back to like, okay, God, the daily grind of like, you know, trying to do our best as a Christian, reading the word, like, you know, um, witnessing to people, which could mean so many different ways and, you know, doing ministry and stuff. But anyway, I just want to encourage like normal Christians out there that, you know, there's a lot going on, but it's like, don't get distracted by all this other stuff, you know, that, that the enemy wants, you know, it's like, you know, just pray. Like, if you think about it, just be like, you know what, Lord, or do whatever you, you know, you feel like he's telling you. And, um, it's like, okay, Lord, we'll, we'll protect him, you know, do, you know, have your will come out. And it's like, you can, we can, instead of us just complaining and using our mouths for like, you know, complaining and arguing and making sure people understand our position and our feelings. And it's like, if we really, as Christians were like, okay, I'm, I'm living for the Lord. Um, he already died for me and I, he tells me how to live and like, you know, don't fight with people, like, you know, um, be loving, like forgive people, forgive people, forgive people, like, you know, offense. Like I would say offense, certain things are like some, like a lot, like for me, like I'd be like, oh, I got so much, you know, worked on myself in this way and this way. And then there'd be like those couple things where you're like, Oh, I really got to work on that too. Don't I like not being like angry at this person, you know, Christmas dinner or whatever, whatever, like I'm talking about just the body of Christ in general, you know? So, um, but anyway, yeah, it's like, just don't get distracted. And the Lord, if you pray, like, Lord, speak to me, speak to me. And like, and like consistently, I'm telling you, like when I started hearing the voice of the Lord, it was like, I sat for two weeks in my car. Like, I'm, I want to hear you. Like, I want to hear what you're saying, Lord. Like I, I had that connection where I knew he could speak to me like personally and like, tell me like things. And like, that's why when I go out and pray, like I never go into going, I'm going to say this or this is how the conversation is going to go. Cause I don't ever know how the conversation is going to go. And a lot of times when I do pray for people, it's like, just goes away out of my mind. Cause it, it wasn't me and it's not for me. And they'd be like, oh, what'd you say to that person? I'm like, I don't know, you know, but it's like, I mean, it ends with like, yeah, Yo, you told me my whole life, you know? So it's like, I know if I'm open and just say, Lord, use me. God will use us. Like, you don't think that the people that, you know, are like Satan worshipers where he runs down after them and chases them down and they like definitely hate Christians or hate or hate him or whatever, you know, don't even believe, you know, but it's like, if he loves them that much, it's like, how much more should we, should we, you know, know that God loves us and, and is there for us? Just like he says, you know, um, our, our, our situations we go through don't t dictate like God's feelings for us because that's like, you know, if, um, you know, 
somebody ran over my foot with like a you know bicycle and I'm like ah oh, that wasn't God's fault but that, but that happened you know but I could say I've had bad things happen where I've like stepped on stuff I almost I cracked my head like what last year was so scary and like I literally heard my skull like crack like I I, I literally was like going and this log was like on the ground and I was like cleaning out the back area of my house and there was um this big log and I went to go step on it and it literally like in the movies like you flip like it rolls and you like fly in the air right and then there was air conditioners like right by there and the point was like literally I mean the enemy's like yay now we get to paralyze or like that I don't even know what that would have done and I immediately, like, because I knew it was, like, serious. Jesus, help me, help me, help me. Like, and I knew it wasn't as bad because I prayed, like, right away. But it's not always like that, you know? Like, it's, God wants to heal us. But, you know, we don't always see things, like, right like that. But, um, so, anyway. Okay, so this was um, something that he gave me in June. Um yeah, this was, this was after, as I was writing, like, the Year of the Dragon, and I put, like, fossils, flags, countries, mythical history, uh, commercials, movies, brands, um, feeling that the truth about the royal lineage is about to come out, um, about how dragons, um, are based off of real things, you know, stuff like that, but I believe stuff's gonna come out, like, they're, serp it's like serpents, you know, that's, like, what I got, um, and, I revoke the authority so like from the beast so God speaks to me certain things like to pray you know and then now I'm realizing like wow this is really good for like other people to hear so that's why I want to try to share as much as I can when, when I read um or talk to you guys um but yeah I started learning re I revoke the authority so if you pray that re revoke any authority that the enemy that you've given him or that people in your house have given him family you know family lineage you know anything like that so but this is something that um yeah the lord gave me and it's like really serious but i i'm doing this because it's, it's like you know i have nothing to lose um so this is this is one of the words that you had me write down but and i am not i don't want to be considered prophetic i'm just me i'm just reading what the lord i believe he showed me i'm not like theologically going to break this stuff down i'm just going to give you just what i got um and wrote down okay so it's continuing from the year of the dragon and then it says shake off your shoes and go forth i will give um into your hands the territories you seek and those you do not, for the laborers have not been faithful in what I have given into their hands. They have sought um, their own desires and destinies and have buried their talents to bring forth at a later time, but those times will never come. They will be cut off from fertile lands and their riches will be given into the hands of the faithful workers. Don't be dismayed when, and I don't even talk like them, but dismayed, like, anyway. Um, don't be dismayed when it seems like your wells are drying up for it's due for, um, it's due time. The rains will fall again when you least expect them. Believe me. And some of this stuff is like capitalized under underlined. I mean, it's kind of like a lot of different things. I'll try to tell you when it is, but believe me, um, for the promises I have laid in your hearts. If it is my will, know and believe I will, it will come to pass. All my promises are yes and amen, even the ones that you don't approve of. You do not, um, um, you are not the ones that created the property you stand on. You are not the one that brings the refreshing rains. Only I can accomplish that. So stand firm on my word and my son and spirit, for they are all um, that will be able to bring you through the seasons ahead. Beware of the enemy that prowls around like a slithering snake and a roaring lion. My roar will shake him where he stands, thinking his rule will never end. His end is nearer than he thinks. For his thinking, um, plots and plans will always be corrupt and full of lies. Isaiah 22. And then that's, that's the thing, but it, it continues. So it says, backroom deals 
and this really stuck out to me, backroom deals will become front room spectacles. Um, these leaders will be struck down with God's mighty right arm and hand with Jesus. Um, your winds of cleansing fire will rage and blow, blow, blow their houses down. Woe to those that are trying, that try and hide their sins, for they will be magnified for all the world's stage to witness. The ground that once was fertile will grow no more, no matter how much fertilizer they try to throw on it. Dark desires will be cloaked no longer, for I will pull off the veils that have hid the, these players. I will throw up their chess boards and they will never again play on my boards. Everything I allowed them to possess will be stripped from their weak gra grasping hands. Their strength will leave them suddenly. And that is like all caps with an underline with three exclamation marks. So very suddenly, I guess a season of suddenlies will occur whether my church is ready and willing or not. I will um, move even if you will not get up to the plate. For those that hear my voice, even if it is only a whisper, you will be able to participate in the greatest time of wonders and miracles that this world has ever witnessed upon the earth. Take heart and heed to my calling, for you all have a part to play at this time of quakings and shakings. But do not be alarmed, because I knew all along it would be so. It has to be so for my will to take place. And that's true, right? Because it's like certain prophecies, they're not easy, but it doesn't mean you can just edit out what you don't like. You know? um, and I forgot. So this, this thing that he wanted me to read, because I realized I didn't make a video before um, about it. And it was like a very hard, like hardcore word that, um, that he gave me. So I wrote down, this was in January, um, February 14th, actually. I was like, oh, really? I was like, well, yeah, I remember, I think Chris was working that day, but it was like, I was like, well, that was a little, uh, serious, but you know, God doesn't go by just what we want. Um, okay. So six, four, I forgot to write, I think I forgot to write the, <laughs> what verse and all that. Okay. So it says, um, the net has been breached. The wall will fall and my people will be set free. Like Nebuchadnezzar, their idols they have built up with their blood, sweat, and own strength will be smashed to pieces in my grasp. I know. Starting off really nice. The dark cloak of bondage that has kept my people in chains will be cut through with my sword of the spirit. My word will not pass away, but they surely will. Surely is underlined. The time is set forth. Um, the, time is, the time is set for their chess match to be played. They are already on the losing side, but they will see their destruction before their eyes. Their kingdoms that they have built up on their own will be judged. The missiles will fall. But I will change their course, and the end will crash down on their own doorsteps. The lights will go out in the nations, but my light will never end. The stains, no, the stairs will crumble under the statues these men of, quote, honor have created, honoring their deeds without my blessings. They will all, all capitals, underline, crumble under my mighty hand. The dogs of war have been unleashed. Not all know it yet, but soon we'll see the kings of the earth turn upon themselves. The ancient sites will come alive again just to be struck down, down, down by my mighty ones. Power, people of power, people of prayer, can and will come out of hiding and meet them on the battlefield. <laughs> Woo! Me are you coming? Come on guys, let's go. Um there has never been a fight like the one I will allow 
the one that is coming. The world leaders started it, but I will surely finish it. To God be the glory. Amen. Woo! And he like underlined and capitalized. I will surely finish it. After he already said it is finished. But um, so yes, that is. Oh, I believe it keeps going. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's right. It says, get your affairs in order, you world leaders, you ancient your ancient gods that once again tried to rule and reign in this dimension, you will fall and fail again like you did back then. You will never, underline, be king of this world. Only one reserves that authority, but soon he will fall before me like an ancient idol with no tongue or voice. He will never again speak his lies to any other living being only destined for darkness and ruin, but not till the appointed time. I'm like, oh man, you know, the Holy Spirit has a way of saying stuff. And it's like, sometimes he just has to say something one time and it's like gut check. Bleh, and you almost want to throw up because you're like, oh my gosh, especially when we like act really mean to people. And it's like, then we catch ourselves and it's like, we should, I shouldn't be feeling like this Lord. And then it's like the Holy Spirit has a way of like, when we want to judge the people, he's a way of just flashing an instance across our mind that he saved us from or like stuff we've done in the past that's way worse than what this person is doing. And then it puts things in perspective. Oh yeah, I'm just as bad as they are. We're all messed up, you know? And then Lord, I need your help because what is happening and what is coming in this earth the enemy knows our weaknesses. He's not going to send an alien for people that, you know, that know the truth. He's going to do it in a way that's going to hit us where we're weak, like, you know, uh, money or, you know, drugs or sex or, you know, stuff like that where it's like, or porn or any things like that, that you're like, oh, well, I get, that's okay if I just sleep with my boyfriend or girlfriend, because, like, we're engaged, or, like, you know, we've been dating for, like, eight years, you know, we're basically married, like, no, I'm sorry, I, I went through those lies, too, and it's, like, it only brings ruin, so, you know, don't, the, basically, the thing is, don't lie to ourselves, right, we have to be real with ourselves for, for what's going on, and, um, you know, there's just some stuff that, that I saw, but, um, oh, and so, the one dream I had, um, it, yeah, the one dream I had, it, um, recently, it was weird. It was like, um, I was in the dream and I was looking up and I don't remember where I was, but I kind of felt like there was like a dome type building, like kind of like shaded, you know, I couldn't make it out. So I don't know exactly what building, but I, I feel like it's like a dome and kind of like the Capitol building, like something like that. But, um, so anyway, I'm like looking up and sometimes God has me like see little details like focuses on. And that's why I kind of know, kind of when I get the feeling like, okay, why would he have me focus on this little tiny detail? So I look, look up and there's like three bombs like headed towards this building. And it was like in slow motion and I'm like looking up and I drew what it looks like. But the middle one was like white and like long and slender. And I looked up online and it's like the one I found that basically looks like it, it's like nuclear bomb like of course um and then the two on the sides I don't know if they were rockets that were holding it because I remember it kind of looked like um kind of looked like you know like a plane almost has like two like top fins and then you know bottom fins or something but um they were darker they were like black I think but um those were and then I thought after and it's like me analyzing right I'm like man lord what does this mean you know so I just prayed you know obviously prayed against it um, and then in, in another dream, it's like, I've had other dreams about these snakes, but, um, yeah, it was like an unbelievably humongous Titan type, like boa constrictor slash anaconda. Like, you know, it was like definitely camoed, you know? So, um, but it was so big, like I couldn't even like believe it, you know, it was like, like its head was like bigger than a truck, you know, it's like, but, um, but anyway, so that like, it was in a forest and it was like all swirling around. It was just so weird. But, um, 
yeah, I don't know. And then um, I also had another dream. I don't know if I like shared it in a previous video, but I'm going to try to wrap up too. But um, yeah, I had a dream that I was like standing there and there's this huge snake, you know, but this one was even bigger. It was like way bigger. But a bear comes running from behind me, this humongous bear. And it goes and it like starts fighting with the boa constrictor snake thing. And they like tumbled off this cliff and like then I was like far away and I was like looking at the cliff from far and I saw them tumble down into the water but I I don't that's why we need to write our dreams down I don't remember exactly all the details after that but then I was like man, it felt and it felt so real and I remember there was other parts in the dream but I remember that very distinct distinctly so I thought about you know I went into my own thing where I was like okay are these countries are they spirits are they you know but I've just you know I've gotten a few things but um, we got to share that at another time, but, um, I just wanted to try to wrap the video up and, you know, just share those things with you. And, you know, God is showing like his people a lot of stuff and there's a lot going on. So it's like, if we're open and we want to hear God's word and we want to know the truth about stuff, it might just be for you and God or you and your husband or wife or you and your friends or you and your family to know. It's not for like everybody to hear because there's stuff that he tells me and I'm like, that's definitely not for everybody, but it's, it's like interesting and important, but you know, um, like black pro black ops projects and stuff that I'm like, find out it's real after I'm like, that was real. So it kind of makes me rethink certain things that, you know, I write down sometimes. Cause I'm like, man, what else does this mean then? So anyway, um, I know I prayed in the beginning, but, um, Lord, I just pray right now for everybody that watches this, that you just have anything that's not of you, Lord, just fall to the wayside. Anything that's from you, God, I just pray right now for them to catch it for whoever it's supposed to, to, um, touch their life, Lord. And, um, God, I just have your way, Lord, on, in the world and, um, what's going on online and just don't like let people's gaze, you know, look away from you, Lord, that your gaze is all we need and you will tell us what to do and to live our lives lord and um i just thank you for um, all the people and things that you've said to me lord and people have been able to share things with lord In jesus name amen okay guys um so i'm gonna try to make more videos but i just wanted to definitely share that with you guys um and just go through life it's about you and jesus that's it and it's about just what he's called you to do and it's like don't get distracted okay all right love you guys have a great day. Bye.